Hi everybody, I am Husky Light. Thank you for stopping by. This is your angel card reading for today, including your angel number as well and a chakra card as well for the rest of the week. Um, somebody mentioned yesterday that you need your chakra card uh, for the week, um, even though this week I thought I'd do numbers. So I'm just going to put all three in um, for the rest of the week so that we don't, because it is, it's true, we do need to know which chakra we're working on. I just wasn't sure if you were a bit sick of hearing about them. So um, I, that's why I thought I'll have a change and do the numbers, but you need your chakra card too. So I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do that for the rest of the week. Right, today's card is not a card. We're getting whipped, hopefully not literally, um, with this card, which is, which is number 11. And this is for Friday the 10th of March. Um, this is the birch or the broom. This usually brings a little bit of conflict. Unfortunately, with this card, it brings conflict and strife. It could be um, that you feel like you're in competition with somebody. Somebody's trying to get the better of you at work. This could be conflict in the home, um, conflict in a different way in a work situation or with a friend. Um, it brings arguments and quarrels sometimes. It brings frustration it brings a lack of patience as well it's a, it's not it's not a nice card it's a bit of a troublesome card so i'm sorry watch out for your own emotions today watch out if you are tired feeling frustrated these are the sort of you know angry these are the sort of feelings that are going to bring out that it's that stress it's the stress factor that i think is coming through this card and is the main message watch your own stress levels and if there is somebody around you tomorrow who you come in contact with um, who has got who has got a high stress level, you know, maybe they're overworked at work, something's going on in the home, there is upset, something's recently happened. Watch how you interact with that person. It's never good fighting fire with fire. <clears throat> if somebody's being stressful towards you, argumentative, in competition with you. Um, the best thing always is just to turn the other cheek to walk away to say, look, I love you very much, but I am not going to do this now with you. Um, when we have both calmed or when you are calm, we shall do this. We shall sit down. We'll talk about it. We'll go through it. We'll get rid of stresses. Maybe just a big hug and an I love you and a smile with the other person is going to work wonders for them. Maybe that's going to work wonders for you. It might not be another person. It might be you who is feeling a little bit, bit frustrated <coughs> within yourself today. So just watch out for it. It's one of those cards where you can get whipped up into a frenzy very quickly. You may already be, like I said, tired or frustrated. And one, one wrong word from somebody else, and they may not even realise it's the wrong word, it's, it sends send you off in a spiraling um, direction. So this is, is unfortunately disharmony. Um, and I don't really want to say anything more about it because I don't, I don't want it to happen to everybody. I think maybe this is just, this is the collective energy that is around us for today. Stress, overwork, tiredness, maybe you didn't get a good night's sleep the night before and you've got a lot on. Take as many deep breaths as you can during the day. If you're feeling like this, get as grounded as you possibly can during the day. Sit in a chair, grip the sides of the chair, breathe deeply, um, get some, some oxygen into you. Imagine that you are firmly planted to the ground. Um, take a walk, try and take a walk out in nature, do something, do a bit of gardening, do something don't take this out on anybody else if you can help it, which I'm sure you won't. Um, and just, it, it's it's a good, if you could stay in today, it'd probably be a really good time to do that. If you don't have to interact much with anybody else, it would be a really good idea <laughs> not to do that too much. If you've got important paperwork today um, and you can put it off, I would put it off for a day. If you have any major decisions to make or you have any major phone calls to make, if it is possible, I know it's Friday and maybe you need to get it done by the, the end of the week. But if you can, um, either put it off until Monday or just be aware um, 
of your own feelings, of your own emotions and stay as calm as possible as you can when dealing with other people um, and we're dealing with your own emotions as well. Right, now the angel number for this is number 11. Now I don't usually like to break down the number 11. I feel that that's a master number. It's 1111. 11. 11 usually means that you are on the right path and that things are... Um, things are divinely timing divinely timed for you to come in but you can actually break down 11 to a 2 as well so what I'm going to do is do the angel number for 11 um, which is to be inspirational to others it encourages you to assist and inspire others around you using your natural abilities relying, relying upon your intuition and your inner wisdom to guide you as to the right thing to do so in a way this does coincide with this card as in you have to watch yourself you have to be the lighting the shining light for others you know somebody else is be lead by example number 11 is lead by example be that guiding light to bring illumination to others and help raise their spiritual awareness as well be the light worker today even if it's you personally that feels like that it's almost a test from the universe to say okay how are you going to handle this mood today how are you going to handle your emotions and how you feel and it could be that test from the universe coming in saying okay this is how you feel you're not in a great mood things are happening here but can you still illuminate others while you're in this mood can you still be inspirational can you still help others when you are like this can you step back from a situation and look at it from a different angle and try and detach yourself from it that may be the test that may be the lesson that's included with this as a number 11 and if we look at it as a number two as a one and a one um it's a message to display compassion diplomacy and consideration and be adaptable as well um, to to others and adaptable in your life maybe things don't go the way that you particularly want them to go today so it's about being adaptable to being able to react not not react deal with situations in a balanced way as you go through the day as well it encourages you to be diplomatic and cooperative and loving and forgiving when relating to other people so it's quite a strong message whether it's angel number 11 or whether it's angel number two whether you've broken it down or not and your chakra card because i said you could have we'll have a chakra card for the rest of the week um let me bring my camera up and make sure that that's straight it is confusion now it is a neutral coloured card which means it is your choice for the rest of this week to choose which chakra you need to work on, you feel that you need to work on. So get a quiet space to yourself, um, get in touch with your emotions, get in touch with what are your fears and doubts at the moment, what's going on with you at the moment, are you in a place of guilt or shame, are you in a place of anger? Um, are you in a, a place of grief? Uh, whichever, get in touch with the feelings that you're feeling. What is it? What are your worries? Are you worried about a work situation? Is it a money situation? Is it a lack of security that you're worried about? What is it? Is it family related? Once you have done that and identified what it is you you have a blockage with what it is that that's there it may even be that you have you can't really think what it is uh, but maybe you have certain aches and pains within your body um do you have a you know are you carrying too much on your shoulders at the moment for the people and you have either neck ache or shoulder ache um do you have lower body symptoms higher body symptoms headaches um have a look at all of that and then quickly if you just go into the internet and just type it literally just type in what chakra relates to guilt what chakra relates to shoulder pain what chakra relates to and it will come up and give you the answer of which chakra <coughs> it is to need 
you need to work on which chakra symptom are you having at the moment that needs work on so that's your angel you've got two angel numbers today and the chakra card um and the thing patience patience comes to mind with today's card just patience in every area of your life how you interact with your with others how you interact with yourself and having an understand try to have an understanding of others as well today so i will see you on the other side of friday on saturday <laughs> um yeah have have a really good um day as much as you can this may not apply to you you may sail through today um with wonderment and delightfulness all day and i hope you do i really do take care and i will speak to you soon bye